Okay, so what we're going to look at here is the differences in what happens when you have um, two data sets that are just like each other, like maybe one just has one value different when it's an outlier, and we'll talk about what an outlier is in a moment here, just to see how the mean and median are affected by the addition of these values. So let's just look at a set of data, and let's just say I'm correcting quizzes, and I have 10 of them in my first data set here. And you notice that the scores range from 15 to 20, so a pretty consistent bunch of scores, not a big difference between the high and the low. And what we're gonna do is, just to kind of review a little bit, let's calculate the mean and the median. Well, remember that the mean is just the sum of all the values. So I'm gonna add 15, 16, 18, et cetera, up to 20 here. And remember, we divide by the number of values. Now, in this first case, there are 10 values. I'm gonna divide the sum by 10. And what that comes out to be, it should be 180 over 10, which is 18. So the mean is 18. And if you look at the set of data, 18 does happen right in the middle. Mean is one of those measures of center. So that all just seems to make sense. Now for the median, remember that for the median, we do have to have the data in order, which I already have here for convenience. So if we look at the number of values there are now there are 10 values here so i was going to write one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and if i look at the first half of the data versus the second half of the data we know that the rule is that the median is going to be halfway or the average of the two middle values which in this case just turns out to be 18. So the mean and the median are both 18, which again, those results seem to make sense. But now let's say I'm cleaning out my bag or well, <laughs> cleaning out my house because we're stuck in quarantine right now. But um, I find an 11th quiz paper and the score was a three out of 20 for whatever reason. So if I put that into my data set, how does that change things? Well, so here's the idea. Now we have 11 scores, which remember, doesn't really change how the mean is calculated. It's still the sum of all the values divided by the number of values, but it is gonna change how the median is calculated. So let's just look at that. So for the mean, I'm just gonna add all the scores up. This time dividing by 11. Now this time we get 183 divided by 11. And that turns out to be, if we go to the nearest 10th, 16.6 so my mean is a little bit lower this time now my median if i look at my halves of the data now there's an odd number of data values here in fact we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so i can't exactly split them into two equal halves but what i can do is say well here's the top five here's the lower five and my median is right here 18. So my median is still 18. So what's the moral of the story? The mean radically decreased. We'll call it decreased significantly. While the median remained the same. And if you're thinking about the data and how everything is placed here, the median staying the same should make a certain amount of sense because at worst, if you add an extremely high value or an extremely low value, and that is what an outlier is. So it's extremely higher or lower than a typical value. You know, my first data set, I had 15 to 20, then this three comes along, it's an outlier. I was gonna label it with an out there. So the moral of the story is outliers affect the mean. Now the median, not so much. So that is a small example of how outliers affect our measures. Notice, just to recap again, the median was left untouched pretty much. Meanwhile, the mean was brought down. And just to see how drastic that is, look at the value of this mean and look where it falls in my data. 
it falls between the third and fourth data. So the 16.6 is not really an accurate measure of center. Uh, so if you really wanted to get more in depth with this, we're not gonna get too in depth with it in this course, but if you take a full on statistics course, we look at a bunch of different ways to handle this. But here it's just to get the awareness that yes, if we have an outlier in our data, things are going to shift around. So I thank you very much for watching and I hope this helped.